Good morning, guys. This message is going to be for my Virgos out there or Virgo cross watcher. This could also be reversed. Oh my God, I wish I wrote it down. I heard something right before I was starting your video. I've been sitting here for about three minutes, three to five minutes, kind of getting it, you know, into your energy. And I heard, what, I just want to know what you want to do. I just want to know what you want. That's it. Like, okay, let me write this down because you know I'll forget. I just want to, I just call to say I love you and I mean it. Okay, I just want to know what you want to do. All right, so this could be in any way. It could be even a family situation, but somebody in the near future, I'm going to say it's someone on the outside of you, however it can be you, where someone's like, hey, what do you want to do? I just want to know what you want to do. You know, they're leaving it up to you to kind of make the decision. Somebody's leaving it up to someone here to make the decision, to decide what they want to do. It could just be for the day, for the weekend, for spring break, for the next vacation. You know, what do you want to do? Where, where would you rather go? For dinner? <laughs> Breakfast? You know, what do you, what do you want for dinner? Where do you want to go for dinner? What do you want to do with the kids and their birthdays? You know, it's something like that. Just a normal or if this is two people who are getting to know each other or if you already know each other but you're kind of discussing like I don't know maybe talking to someone somebody could want to know what you want to do you know I'll play it on your on your time or your level I'll go with your pace thank you spirit I'll take it at your pace there's a plane passing just let me know just let me know like somebody's being patient they're biding their time but they really want an answer from you they're just not trying to rush you they, they, they want to know, you know, hey, what do you want to do? Because, you know, I'm down for this shit. I'm down for it. If you're already in an established relationship, it could go along with the whole, like, what do you want to do, you know? Unless you're having problems with somebody and you're in a, an established relationship. For those of you that that's the case, I have a cut on my finger. Somebody just wants to know, like, where do you see this going? Do you think that we should work things out? Do you think we should stay together? You know, like, somebody's really... but they're, to me, the person who's kind of leaving it up to the other individual, the, the reason they're doing that is because they want it to work. They want to go somewhere with it. They want to keep it together if it's already together. They want to establish a relationship or make it, you know, take it to the next level if it's not already. You know, somebody here is more, like, certain of what they want, whereas another person is still kind of trying to, you know, figure something out. Basically, in your message today, Virgo or Cross Watcher, there's a whole lot of scenarios here. <laughs> there's a lot, you know. Like, what do you? If it's friends, it could be like, hey, what do you want to do? You know, this weekend, or what do you want to do for? You know, just let me know what you want to do. Let me know if you're coming or if you want to go or if you where you want to go. Just let me know. You know, it can be along those lines. Now, another thing that it kind of came in quickly as I was starting your video, but then it went away. So I don't know who this is for. It's T90. It's a tiny little portion here. I'm hearing Portia. But um, this is just for somebody in this group collective of Virgos or a group of you. Well, I got an addiction. I just don't know what the addiction is to because it could be to a person. You know, somebody could be addicted to a person here or addicted to working out, addicted to like maybe somebody has, you know, dabbled in their past with a, a little bit of things, maybe had an addictive personality. It doesn't even mean it's anything crazy, like no hardcore or anything, but it could be like just marijuana, you know, or it could be like a sex addiction. It could be something, but somebody's like, just let me know, you know, what you want to do. Some of you could also have an ex of yours. This is not for everybody also, but who wants to kind of like, they want to hook up with you or get get together with you, meet up. They want to come over, visit your parents' house, or I don't know. They want to do something. And you may be, like, kind of putting them off instead of just outright being like, mm, no. But you know what I mean? Now, it could be an ex of yours who's just trying to decide what are we going to do with the child we have together or the children we have together. You want them this weekend? You wanna get, what, what do you think about it? Would you, would you mind if I went on a trip and took them with me? And, you know, something like that. Just getting together or making decisions together, coming to a common understanding, working something out, figuring something out along those lines. But for the majority of you, I felt like I was picking up on a group of single Virgos, although I'm well aware there's another group of you that are in established relationships. Whatever it is, it's just to me in that area, normal, everyday, regular old schmegular things you deal with in relationships about 
you know, but one person's more so waiting on the other one to kind of make a decision regarding something. Again, it could be something small, just about what we're going to eat tonight, where you want to move, what kind of furniture you want to get, you know, what do you want to do about a health situation? Like, what do you want to do about a work situation? What do you think we should do about investing in blah, 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 you know? Um, otherwise, if it's not an established relationship and you're kind of talking to somebody, they want to know what you want to do. What you want to do, Virgo? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Is it like a ride in smoke? You know how people like ride in smoke? Like, where are we gonna go? Well, you wanna go down this road? We can go down a back road in smoke. They'll never know. You know, it's a back road. Wow, like windows rolled down, music going, and we're just gonna ride. And it could be friends doing this, but it could also be a relationship here, or a connection that's coming together. And it's like, we're gonna, we're gonna ride in hide you know, something like that hmm. yours feels um out of all the ones i've done so far granted this is a new day that i'm doing yours but it feels very uh not normal but just kind of regular to me like it feels like nothing too major now however though like if any of you have had some hiccups lately some of you could have hiccups in the near future. You've already had hiccups, and hiccups suck. They hurt. They hurt my. They hurt me. They hurt my rib cage. But actually, hiccups could be a health hiccup, just like not feeling well. You know, things like that, or going through an actual health health scare, or going through something. Right, recovering from it could even be an argument or a fight. But it's like we're recovering from something. If that's the case, you're gonna recover nicely. Everybody goes through that, though. See, this is why I said it. It seems normal or regular. Now that's not to downplay your message and say, oh, it's not special. It's very special. In fact, it feels very grounded to me, which I like. It doesn't feel anxious, which I had with Aries and Taurus. Not that Aries and Taurus were, but just the energy I picked up in theirs was kind of whoever I was picking up on in their messages. But in this one, mm -mm. it's, um, it seems like what everyone goes through, you know? Like that type, that type vibe. Now your opposite is Pisces, correct? Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, there could be a family situation here where it's like children with their parents or parents with their children. It doesn't mean they're adolescents though. These could be grown children dealing with their parents and like what are we going to do about their health? You know, having to take care of an elderly parent or someone who needs their, your help during this time or will need your help or... I, I see you guys talking to your parents, but you're older. I see you having a discussion with either a mom or a, or a father, stepfather, step stepmother, something like that. Maybe even possibly siblings or possibly a partner about your parents or a parent of yours or grandparents even. Just kind of discussing things. I see discussions. I see talking about this and that and whatever it is that seems good to talk about. It seems good healing. Could even be maybe counseling here or just counseling with one another, being able to communicate and talk. And it's like, well, what do you think I should do? You know, whatever. Like I want to, I want your input, something like that. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you, it may not even involve another person. This could be completely you, my love, Virgo or cross watcher, where inwardly you're thinking, what am I going to do about my current situation? regarding family, regarding a current person. Like, should I wait? Oh, I'm getting another message here. Should I wait? If you're single, I'm going to say it's you, but it could be someone on the outside of you. You could be thinking, should I wait around to see like what this person's going to decide and not really invest deeply into anything new, like talk to anyone else, get to know anyone else, because I really want this person. Or should I meet other people, put myself out there just in case this person decides that they don't want to be in a relationship? Maybe it's nothing personal, but maybe someone decides they don't want to be in a relationship, you know? So you may in the meantime decide, or someone will hear, well, I'm going to get to know a couple of other people, you know, just in case. I mean, if that's what you do, I don't see any harm in it. You know, if that's what you want to do, it's not playing. It's just keeping your options open, really. Somebody can keep their options open here. Oh, I'm getting something else. Hold on. You know how I said regular? 
Sometimes we can say things are regular, right? That doesn't mean they're easy. I'm getting a heavy message at the end. The air just cut on. Yeah, there's something different. The energy is shifting a little bit. Now I'm going to say something, guys. What is something regular? Meaning regular as in it's natural. It, it's natural. We come to earth to do it. As much as we live, we also die. And somebody here, and I don't know if it's an actual person necessarily, but maybe. It's like preparing. I'm seeing like burial plots or bur funeral plans or things like that where we're going to discuss. You know, but there's like, it's like coming out the other end of it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. holy shit that shifted the energy shifted I mean you can see see when I sit here long enough I can get more because yes it is I don't want to say regular it makes it downplay it sounds awful doesn't it it's natural it's a very I guess natural is what I should have said the whole time if I seem like I'm all over the place I'm just ADD for those of you who are new so thank you for being patient with me <laughs> because I know I know sometimes it can stress people out but it's just how I am uh yeah somebody here unless they're sick and they're getting older and it's like i need to start figuring out what i'm gonna do when this person passes or maybe someone has passed whether it's in your family or something close to you there is a sense of healing from it but it's not fucking easy obviously and the reason that touches me deeply is because i'm losing <laughs> yeah it's not easy is it it's like smiling through the tears like you know but uh like moving on because you have to but not because you want to i'm losing my grandmother and um it's really difficult you know it's it's really 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 difficult i mean even even though she's been you know it's a slow thing dementia it's excruciatingly painful to watch and experience but also sometimes things happen out of nowhere you know so you, even though things are natural and, and it happens to all of us it doesn't make it easy, you know. Now, if it doesn't have anything to do with passing, guys, um, or anyone going through that and kind of just making plans with that and picking up and moving forward, although it's just rough after a period of grieving and kind of... <sighs> it could be where, like, another example is my mom is actually about to have knee surgery. And so I'm just like, man, that's going to be so rough on my mom because even though I help her with my grandmother she's I'm, she's gonna need me a lot more so I don't know what that's gonna do and impact, impact my job you know and things like that because she's gonna need me and she's not gonna be able to do anything so uh, it's like plans I see a lot of plans being made because something is there's going to be a pause or a situation where people have to put things on hold because we have to plan something we have to work on something we have to put things into action we have to kind of go through the motions and heal through this and figure out what we want to do it's like what do you want to do what what do you want to do this could even be a business situation like what do you want to do regarding this if it's legal some of you could be a legal situation see the, the longer I go the more I keep getting out it's like uh, what do you want to do regarding this situation and it's like well um, you know discussing your options discussing a plan could even be with somebody in um, an authoritative position over what do you want to do regarding something. It could have to do with money or legalities, papers. Your signature will be required. Huh. Some people could be ending relationships here, but it doesn't, not necessarily. But your signature will be required or your ID will need to be shown in some way. Your It's legal. There will be legal papers doesn't mean issues, just legal papers or um, who's going to be in charge of this, who's going to property of, I'm also hearing, or who is, there's a word I'm looking for, but it's not coming to me, who is responsible, who's responsible here, you know, what do you want to do, I don't know if I feel anger, but then again, if you think about when things kind of, when you go through Things. sometimes chaos can stir up sometimes stress can stir up and when that happens then you know there can be aggression there can be kind of irritation so it's just a matter of like if you're not experiencing any of this at all that I just said somebody could be experiencing these things or one of these things at least on the outside of you in the near future or right now and could 
maybe maybe your spirit guides are asking you to be a little patient with this person during this time and just kind of allow them to choose. I guess the whole message here is allowing you to choose, allowing you to decide in your time what you want to do, allowing you to heal in your time, you know, being understanding, having empathy, things like that, allowing you to decide. Hmm. Wow. There's bigger details involved regarding things, and it's like, well, we kind of have to know what you need to do because there is almost like a time limit here. Right? And some of you may may even go over a time limit, or someone else may even go over a time limit. And if you work somewhere, own a business, and you deal with customers, some of you, it could be where like somebody shows up, I'm hearing fashionably late, or someone here does, shows up fashionably late, or lets somebody kind of know something right in the nick of time, or maybe at the last minute. But it's because this person has something going on, or if this is you, you have something going on. And so there's kind of a need for someone to just have a little bit of patience with somebody because they're going through a lot. That's what I'm getting. I see, I see appointments, lots of appointments, lots and lots of appointments, and maybe needing help with these appointments or help with these details, these plans. There will be more than one person involved with the discussion with the plans with the details yeah so wow nice message guys thank you so much and for those of you going through something rough during this time or somebody you know and love and care about um, my heart goes out to you i know that even if things are natural and we all experience it it doesn't mean it makes it easy it's shit you know what i mean and i wouldn't rush yourself for a minute take your time take all the time that you need to heal and do what you got to do to get through whatever it is you've got to get through and the right people will understand. Thank you guys so much. Love you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.